Angela Merkel was shamed by Greta Thunberg's rival Naomi Saith after Germany celebrated hitting its CO2 emission targets, despite enduring hundreds of deaths as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, Ms. Sait, who has been dubbed the anti-Greta Thunberg of climate change, reacted to the the German government and its admission that it would have missed its climate change targets if the economic havoc wrought by COVID-19 had not caused a large drop in greenhouse gas emissions. The EU has set member states numerous targets as part of its plan to eradicate CO2 emissions, which aims to reduce carbon dioxide emissions to zero by 2050. Germany, the EU's biggest carbon-emitting nation, had planned to cut its emissions to 40%, which would have seen its levels drop to the smallest since 1990. But in a damning blow, the country's environment minister Svenja Schultz said that with its current policy efforts, it would have only reached 37.5% emissions cut. She added, we have learned the right lessons from past failures. Every year we will check whether we are on the path we have agreed, and take further action if necessary. Ms. Saif claimed it was impossible for a nation such as Germany to reach such high targets from the EU. She also condemned the likes of Mrs. Merkel, the German Chancellor, and others who will celebrate a lowering of greenhouse gases as a result of nationwide lockdowns across the world. Due to the lockdowns during the outbreak, many nations have demanded citizens no longer go out unless necessary as they attempted to curb the spread of COVID-19. This has led to improvements with the planet's environment but, at the same time, an estimated 835,000 people have perished at the hands of the coronavirus. Ms. Saif said, they should never draw conclusions from the coronavirus about climate change because if this pandemic is really that severe, which they claim it is, then you can't at the same time say there are billions of people affected by this virus, thousands dying, but we're making progress with climate change.